Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love in the general for the sign of Cancer for April 2022. So watch this video if you're a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with one, keep in mind these are general readings, so it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit and check in any other placement. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. So now let us see messages for Cancer for April 2000. All right. Give me the message for Cancer for April 2022, please. message for cancer impatience Ooh. so some of you as the message is very clear very loud that you need to practice more patience you might be losing your calm because you feel like something is not happening you want something to happen at a particular time but it's taking its own time and you are kind of losing the patience right but you need to remind yourself that everything is going to happen at the most perfect time. Yes, we humans, we want things to happen at a certain time. But then divine has its own timing, which is always bigger and better than ours. So you need to trust the process. Let me read the message for you. My life is unfolding in divine timing. Exactly. You need to tell yourself every day that your life is unfolding in the most perfect divine timing. All delays are beneficial. If something is getting delayed, if something is not happening at the time you want it to happen, that is beneficial for you, all right? It's going to come at the most perfect time when it will be most suitable for you. I'm always at the right place at the right time. So you need to tell yourself, you need to remind yourself that no, you are not lagging behind. Nobody is going ahead of you. Everybody is in the most perfect time in their own life. And you at the same time are more are, are in the most perfect time in the most perfect place, right? So you are at the right place at the right time. You are not lagging behind and nothing is going out of the you know time. Like people say, time is going fast and time is slipping. Nothing is happening, right? Everything is unfolding in the most perfect time and you need to trust the divine timing basically. So wow, what a beautiful message. I'm always at the right place at the right time. This could be an affirmation that you can practice in the month of April. All right, give me one more card for Cancer. One more card for Cancer for April, please. Some of you also need to be less stubborn because the cards are just not coming out. Maybe you're too stubborn about something happening at a, per at a particular time and when it's not happening, you're, you're being very stubborn and you're not trying to go with the flow which is creating an obstacle, right? Perfectionism. Yes, some of you also, you're trying to do things in, in a perfect way, right? And there is nothing which is called as perfect. Everybody's definition of perfect is different. And just because you want something to happen in a certain way, and when it doesn't happen like that, you may think that, oh, this is not perfect or whatever. And then you might beat yourself for that. So you, you need to stop doing that, all right? You don't have to make perfectionism a thing, all right? Go with the flow, do your best, give your best shot, and don't try to be overcritical on your own self, and don't try to beat yourself for making mistakes. We are humans, and making mistakes is very human-like, all right? So that's that. Some of you, you're just being very harsh on yourself is what I see. So there's like a lot of impatience, and then you're trying to do things in a perfect way, you're like, this is not perfect, that's not perfect. Nothing is perfect, perfect actually, if you see it, right? We all have our imperfections and we need to embrace them. That's how life is. So let me read this message for you. Permission to make mistakes is so freeing. Exactly. Give yourself the permission to make mistakes. If you make a mistake, that's just a learning lesson. You don't have to beat yourself up, all right? Sometimes we are not really sad because something bad happens. We are more sad as to why did I do it. So we humans, we, we start regretting. We're like, why did I do it? I should not have done this. Should have, could have, etc. Take the energy and then we drain ourselves. We deplete ourselves. So you need to stop doing that, all right? Give yourself permission to make mis mistakes, basically. It's the root of creativity and change. When you make mistakes and you learn from them, that is how you become more creative and you cause a change to happen, right? Allow me, divine, to make as many mistakes as I need. Free me from the prism of perfectionism. So yes, free yourself from the perfectionism. There is nothing called as perfect. You don't have to be perfect. You are a human and you are allowed to make mistakes. Beautiful, beautiful message for you, Cancer. All right, now let us see messages 
Cancer for April from the Tarot. So give me the present energy. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. New beginnings. I see April is going to bring in new beginnings for you, especially when it comes to money or stability. If you have been trying to balance your life lately with the Temperance card, you're trying everything to make your life come back to balance. Maybe your life was a little disbalanced lately. You were overdoing things. You know, you were trying to beat yourself up. You were being very impatient and all of that. So you kind of disbalanced your life. And now you're basically trying to come back on track. And I see in the month of April, you will be achieving this balance one day at a time. All right. But the only message is don't beat yourself up. Have patience. Sail with the flow. Don't try to go against the flow. All right. I also see wish fulfillment. Some of you, you're manifesting a new relationship. And I see that coming in. Wow. Two of cups with a star card. Some of you, there's a water sign or an Aquarius that's coming in. Some of you, it's a Sagittarius. Could be an odd sign as well. So you are basically getting best of both the worlds. Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning and this can very well be a new beginning in money, new ways of making money, all right? Being more creative, putting your creative talent out and uh, monetizing it, making good money out of it. So that can happen. I also see that you're connecting with your uh, inner balance, all right? So your life is basically coming back on track and the star in the two of cups shows to me that you are manifesting a relationship. But, you know, the energies are pretty slow. That is why, you know, star card is a slow card and temperance is also a slow card. So you have to be patient with the process is what I see. The only thing is that you're not patient. You're not trusting. And you feel like everybody around you is getting married or they are having a partner and all of that. And you feel like your life is lacking behind. You don't have to think like that. All right. You are at the most perfect time, at the most perfect place. Everything is unfolding in divine timing. So what else? What else? Also pay attention to your thoughts because whatever you're thinking right now, you are manifesting it. So that's beautiful. Queen of Wands. I also see that you are, uh, your creativities are in full swing and uh, you can definitely put them into practice and create something really beautiful. Uh, you might also be multitasking in the month of April. So you have a lot of work at hand, but you are going to do it very beautifully, right? But don't try to beat yourself for perfectionism. That is one thing that you need to keep in mind. I see you will be multitasking and you have a lot of tasks at hand. And you're going to do it really well, all right? I also see that you're paying a lot of attention to how you look. Uh, you might be changing something about your appearance because Queen of Wands is somebody who attracts a lot of attention. So you might be getting a lot of attention in the month of April. People take a note of you. They take a note that you're doing something to yourself, to your skin, to your body or whatever. So yeah, you are getting some eyeballs on you. Okay, what else? What else for Cancer, please? What is coming towards Cancer next? Wow, page of ones with the nine of pentacles. Cancer, you are not paying much attention to love. You are manifesting it, but your attention is towards, um, you know, creating something in your life. You just want to create something. You're, you're feeling very creative out of nowhere. With the page of ones, you know, it's a very creative card with the nine of pentacles. I see you might also be educating yourself. You might be learning new skills. You're trying to spend time by yourself. You're also indulging you might be pampering yourself and all of that. So you are enjoying the me time, but at the same day, same time, you are attracting new things and a very beautiful relationship. Some of you, you're attracting somebody who's very rich, all right? So the next person that you bump into could be very rich. Um, I also see that you're paying a lot of attention to your own finances and you're definitely doing something creative to make more money, which is going to pay you off really, really well as well page of ones is basically you getting your mojo back that sense of passion and optimism is coming in if you have been feeling like your life was pretty boring for the last few weeks or months that sense of passion that renewed sense of enthusiasm is going to be back in your life and i keep seeing that you're paying a lot of attention to yourself so you are all about yourself in the month of april you want to look good you want to smell good you want to be good you know <laughs> Looks like you are trying to attract people's attention. You, you might not be doing it purposefully, but people are getting attracted to you because you're paying a lot of attention to yourself, page of pentacles. I also see a good news coming in, especially in regards to your money. So if you have been investing money somewhere or you have been looking for new opportunity to make more money or whatever, so I see a good news coming in. Wow. So very victorious energy here. You coming over, you coming over your, um, you know, shortcomings creative blogs and making the most out of your life 
and being very creative and enthusiastic once again. So that's good. And attracting a lot of attention. You are definitely in the center spot in the month of April. A lot of limelight is coming onto you. What is the advice for Cancer here? Three of Pentacles. Your advice is to cooperate and um, three of Wands, make a decision and be open to new opportunities. You might also be um, closing yourself up, you know, closing yourself off. Nine of Pentacles is a good card because it shows that, you know, you are being very creative, very, uh, you know, taking care of yourself. But this also comes with the energy of trying to be alone, trying to seclude yourself. So don't do that. Be, be part of groups and teams. In the month of April, you need to collaborate with people. If people are trying to help you, uh, be open to receive the help. And if not, then you need to put yourself out so that you can attract help from other people. All right. The more you mingle with people, the more you, you collaborate with people, the better it will be for you. I also see new opportunities coming in, but because you're so secluded in your own energy and you're so focused on the perfectionism that you might not pay attention to people and opportunities around you. So don't do that. All right. All right. Give me some energy about the person that cancer is dealing with. What is their intentions towards cancer? Knight of Swords. This person is rushing in to communicate with you. This person might have also been very physically attracted to you in the past, but they were trying to keep it very sexual with you. So maybe this person just wanted a friends with benefit and you did not want that. So you isolated yourself from them. You were looking for an equal partnership and not just a friends with benefit or whatever with the two of cups. You were looking for an equal partnership which can lead to something solid. And this person was coming like a knight and the king. So it was a very on and off connection with this person. Sometimes they were there very passionate and the other times they were not. So you just isolated yourself from all of this. Some of you also feel like this person used you or you feel betrayed and cheated. You feel used. Used would be the right term. Some of you, you feel like whenever this person needs help, they come into your life. But then when you want, the, want help from them or when you want them by your side, they are not there. So you feel like you cannot rely upon somebody. You also feel like you were the giver in the connection and this person overtook. So you are kind of pissed off. <laughs> this is what I see. This person had a lot of passion for you, but they were trying to keep it more on the fun side and you wanted commitment from them. So you were on a very different phase in this connection. What is this person's intentions now towards cancer phase? Oops. So we have three of swords. They are hurt. Ooh, this person is hurt. Cancer person that was hurting you in the past, they are now hurt. With the emperor and the five of pentacles, they feel like you are the one who ghosted. <laughs> you think they ghosted you, they think you ghosted them. You might have ghosted them after their inconsistency is what I see. Though. So they, this person is hurt is what I see. This person who was very in and out of your life and not giving you commitment, they are very hurt over you. Wow. You were having sleepless nights over them. And now they are having sleepless nights over you. Some of you, this person thinks that you left them in a very vulnerable spot. They might be trying to work upon their life. They might be trying to make something happen in, in their life, but their mind is stuck on you is what I see. Eight of Cups. You are trying to resist this person and walk away. You feel this person is a waste of time. But some of you, this is a divine counterpart energy, the Emperor and the Empress. What the hell is happening here? <laughs> You are trying to walk away from them. They think you ghosted them. You wanted commitment. They were trying to keep it very lighthearted with you. But both of you realize that there is potential in this connection, isn't it? You both are coming like the emperor and the empress. So this connection is more than what it appears on the surface is what I see. You want this person to level up, basically. You might be attracted to this person, but you do not want to take them back with their BS is what I see. So what is the next step for cancer here? Ten of pentacles. You need to make a choice. Yeah, lovers. Some of you, you have more than one option and you need to make a choice. So you will have to choose between two people, past or present, or maybe two people from the past. I don't know. Lovers with the ten of pentacles is speaking about choice. Out of the two people that you're dealing with, one person is very stable. The other person brings in a lot of drama. So you need to make a choice. You're dealing with two different people here is what I see. You have to choose the one who matches your frequency. You are looking for commitment. So choose the person who can give it to you. 
you cannot get commitment from a fuck boy or a fuck girl you need to understand that and then what are you doing when you're not getting the commitment you're trying to stay single like you just don't want to mingle with people even that's toxic right so you have more than one option make a wise choice it's gonna be the outcome here for cancer two of sword some of you i see that you will not make a decision because you do not know what to do you're very confused and in in this whole situation you might actually sabotage the connection that is coming in because i definitely see you also have an offer maybe a gemini or an earth sign that's very stable very committing but then you're not paying attention because you are scared to make a move you're scared to make a choice out of the two two options that you have but if you continue doing that you will you will miss on to a very good opportunity so pay attention that you don't do that and i also see somebody from the past who was just trying to take from you is now ready to give as well this person might be having regrets the way they treated you so you can make a choice if you want to go back to the same person or you want to go towards this other person who's coming in with a lot of stability you definitely have a choice what's your advice for cancer please world card and the death see so there is something which is very toxic that needs to go so that you can move on to something much stable you are definitely dealing with two different situations or two different people one person is full of shit and the other person has commitment to offer but because you do not want to make a decision right now so you're trying to not make a decision about both the persons and then you will miss on to a very good opportunity is what i see all right so make a wise choice cancer and stop self-sabotaging things give me message for cancer please honeymoon see i'm telling you there's a very beautiful connection coming in for you and some of you you will go on a travel like vacation with this person some of you you will be meeting this person over vacation and things are going to deepen between both of you and then we have engagement and wedding i definitely see you have somebody around you who can actually be a potential partner a commitment and all of that but you're not paying attention because you're very scared to make a move and you're just trying to be by yourself so how do you get married to somebody by being all yourself by not allowing anybody in your life that's not possible right give me message for cancer please i am predicting wedding or engagement for some of you in the near future you will be spending some holiday time together as well give me message for cancer please i can't think straight this is you you are not able to think straight that's why you're not making a decision but that is going to cost you and then we have i am manifesting you in my life somebody is manifesting you or you are manifesting somebody i want a family with you so you have two different people one one person is very in and out fuck boy kind of energy and the other person wants a family with you and that's the person you can have wedding and engagement with so make a wise choice make a wise choice so that was the reading hope this helps and resonate if it does make sure you subscribe like share comment i will see you very soon in the next video till then you guys take care stay safe bye